Hey everybody, SS Dave here from CompleteEvo3D.com. Going to do a quick video on flashing a kernel and or ROM on the HBoot 1.5. Um, I believe this is the issue a lot of you are having if you're having the S on. I currently do have S off, so I'm not quite experiencing the same issue, but uh, so this should hopefully work for most of you for the S on HBoot 1.5 uh, flashing the kernel. So make sure you go into menu, settings, power, and turn your fast boot off. Or you can just take your battery out of your phone for 10 seconds and hold down the power and the uh, volume button and it'll get you in there. Uh, so let me go ahead and turn off my screen it looks like. Let's try that again. Hold down the power button. If you're already rooted, you'll have all these options. You can actually just restart into bootloader. But for those of you who don't, I'm just going to show you. You can power it down here. Power off. Alright. Now we got our phone powered off. Let's go ahead and remove this USB cable. You're going to hold the volume down and power button. Yeah, that is my phone ringing, by the way. Okay. So I'm now in the bootloader. It's on fast boot right there. I hit the power button. It says fast boot at the top. Now if I plug in my cable, it'll say fast boot USB. Now, I'll have to attach the link onto it, but you'll see that um, what I got here is I got a folder that I call Evo under the C drive, and I've extracted the files from this folder in here, which includes the CWM, uh, CWM 4.0.1 shooter, and all that. So, what you do is you go to the folder, C Evo, or whatever you have it named and type in that fast boot CM, CWM dash so forth. I've already typed it in so once you have that here you're going to hit enter and when you do just hit enter it's loading there and it's going to boot it into recovery uh, clockwork mode recovery and as you see here it looks a little different but at this point um, let's try and zoom in here see if that helps a little bit you can uh, go to install zip from SD card, hit the power button, choose a zip from SD card, that's that top one, hit power, and this is where you would go to wherever you have the file. Right now I have it in download, which is at the top, it means you got to hit it a couple dozen times. Hit download, there's all my files. At this point you could flash the uh, any of the zips for ROMs or kernels and you would just select it and hit power and it would start flashing that ROM. And I just got done doing this, but this was just an example of how you can flash the ROM. Um, you would just select it, hit power, and then choose to, in fact I'll go ahead and do that part, clean ROM 2.7, hit power, and then go to the yes and hit the enter. Once you do that, it'll take you back to this screen. You go to go back and that top button says reboot system now. So at that point you would be able to reboot your system after flashing a ROM or kernel and would just start up like normal and uh, you should be good. Uh, if you get a boot loop like this, uh, one of the nice things you can do here is just hold the volume down button and once it flashes off the HTC screen you'll go back into your boot looter, loop loader so that you can you know try again or find out if maybe you had a bad uh, file or or whatnot. Not all kernels work with each uh, ROM, so you kind of got to be cautious of there. Uh, always back up. It's suggested because if you get here and you've already had a good ROM, make sure it's backed up. You can go right back to the restore at that point. I uh, hope this helps, and hopefully I can answer your questions. If you have anything, uh, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks, guys.